Tonight, a community is shocked after a man drove his car off the Hudson Memorial Bridge in Decatur. Way 31 reporter Jillian Kay spent the day in the River City. She joins us live from the newsroom. Jillian, you spoke with residents. What did they tell you there? Rob, one resident told me that this accident deeply concerns him. He can't even imagine what could have led up to this. Stop me, nothing good happens on the road from midnight to two. Unfortunately, early this morning, Vernon Page's parents were right. Decatur born and raised, Vernon's seen plenty of accidents, but says he's never quite heard of one like this in the River City. We've got the Baltimore Bridge incident and this one in Decatur. It's like, you know, what's next? Authorities say 55-year-old Michael Nabel drove off Decatur's William Hudson Memorial Bridge. Police say Nabel ran straight through Highway 31 southbound guardrail. His car flew off the edge and into the Tennessee River. Vehicle was sticking out of the water. Most of it was submerged in underwater. Morgan County Rescue Squad Chief Danny Kelso showed me where it happened. He's worked here more than 20 years and says he's never seen anything quite like this. Speed may have played a factor. A medical condition may have played a factor. You just never know uh, what's going to happen when you're going down the road. And now it's a harsh reminder to prepare for the worst. If you wreck into the water, you know, try to get out of the vehicle as quickly as possible if you're able to. A lesson residents like Vernon take to heart. But as he sails off onto the Tennessee River, he's reminded of Nabel's accident and hopes nothing like it ever happens again. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea for them to get something like that checked with this incident and make sure that we're secure on the entrance and exit of the bridge. There are still a lot of unanswered questions tonight. The cause of the accident is still under investigation. We will keep you updated both here and online at waytv.com. I'm live in the newsroom with coverage you can count on. Jillian Kay, Way 31 News.